Man, what is good, YouTube? This is how to use Dan Ige. Here we go. Dan Ige, Max Holloway. First side on. Let me get that out the way. Here you go. It says Dan Ige Jiu-Jitsu. Like, that's like his main thing on this. But he has like really good boxing stats, so. Oh, please don't tell me you're going to be lagging. Please don't tell me it's going to be lagging. He's doing a lot of the, yeah, body's going to be open. I already know with what he's doing. Oh, my. I ain't even worried about the uppercut because he's too worried about getting hit. I kick. Does he have a switch kick? Okay, no switch kick. I had to try it. Let me not get kneed elbowed right now. Mm. Damn. He just won't stop throwing. Let me get it out of here. Oh my. Okay. Hold up. Let me calm down a little bit. And he's just moving the same direction. I got to get him throwing first. And then, there we go. Oh, my, bro. That could have been a KO. There we go. I think we got him now. We got him in a bad spot. There we go. Had to work for that a little too much. There we go. We take on a Jose Auto. Okay. Jose Auto. One thing about the Ige, bro, he's actually like somewhat close to a title at one point. And on honestly. I think he got the win versus Josh Emmett, too. So if you, like, trade positions, you never know where he could have been at. Because I do think he's pretty good. But I don't think he's... And you can't... I feel like you can't have time wasted in, like, at all. Because I feel like those were his, like... He kind of got wasted his prime years. And now he's, like, versing people like, uh... Nate the Train. I love Nate the Train, but... I feel like he's wasting his prime years on, on ranked opponents. But now he got Price Mitchell. That's why every decision could screw you. Whoa. I'm going to watch that. If he, if he wants to come in with big strikes, I got to watch that. Whoa. Most people would have ducked that, but he let me do that. Oh, shit. He's throwing. I don't think Alzo got that much of a tank to be throwing and missing that much. Whoa. I'm going to just keep on that pressure. Just way too much overhands. Oh my god, bro. I keep messing it up because I keep going like that when I'm supposed to go like that. That's what's getting me in trouble. I do that a lot. I don't ever like fully commit to it. He just trying to direct, like freaking get, mess up my rhythm and chuck overhands. Every time I get up close, a knee, he's doing jab straights trying to catch my, catch me with an overhand and he's like moving side to side. Like he's doing this. He 
He's trying to catch me in a big combo, but I ain't about to throw the same combo as he's throwing. You can only play a certain way for a long time. Like, sometimes someone's going to figure it out. Sometimes someone's going to figure it out. Oops. Whoa. Look, he all... There we go. He's going to switch it up now. Y'all seen that. He's going to switch it up now. Pew. He's going to switch it up now. Let's see how he comes out this time. There we go. Let me throw something behind that for now on. Like that. I gotta set up my like leg kicks now. But I'm trying to catch him while he's moving. That's that's what I was trying to do. Get back. No, that's okay, bro. I tried to go uppercut there. That would've been good. Let me go high with that. I'm confident in him not ducking. I don't want to throw it too much because he will at some point. That's not what I'm trying to do. Let me do what I want to do. That should have did more, bro. He just threw an overhand and gas like took his tank all the way down. It is like rewarded him. Oh, luckily I put my block up. Holy shit. I was not blocking at first and then I seen it. I didn't think I got it in time. There we go. He too worried about offense that he's not going to duck. Whoop. Let me try this. There we go. I'm trying to see how Ego would do against Bryce Mitchell. Cause I gotta rewatch some stuff. I don't think he has bad takedown defense. But Bryce Mitchell's like weirdly good at keeping it close on the feet. I don't see Ego catching him the same way he would catch uh that uh Bryce got caught by Ilya. Obviously different levels. Fuck it. Oh, that was a bad time to commit on that. He's playing better now, but see, right there, he tried to get a little weird, and I took advantage of it. You were starting to play good. You were starting to play good, and then he didn't land a knee, and he was trying to get it. There we go. Sit down. I could definitely see a really close fight, possibly split decision. But if Bryce was able to get Ilya down, though, at some point, and I do believe him that he was sick, I feel like he could do better against EA, but I don't know. You never know. Nothing works out, bro. You can't look at one fight and then, like, compare it to other all the time. Plus, Ilya likes to overcommit sometimes. Overthrow, and that's what Bryce took advantage of. Ige doesn't really overcommit like that, so you never know. I'm still gonna take my money on Bryce, though. I thought that was an uppercut. I thought that was game. I thought I was done, but he threw a body shot. Get out of here! What the hell? I threw an overhand behind that. We we're supposed to throw before that. Okay, stand up, stand up, Aldo. Bro, come on. Don't go Ryan Hall on me, bro. 
Over here looking like Neil Magny, bro. Kron Gracie, whoever, bro. Kron Gracie makes more sense for this weight class, I guess. Come on. Oh, he's just doing all that moving. Like, you're going to run into a head kick. Sit down, bro. I probably should go on. Oh, bro, if you're not going to stand up, you know what time it is, bro. Okay, there we go. I am wasting no more time, bro. Respect, you survived. I thought he was going to panic. Him. Oh, bro, he's just trying to get a moral victory now. We don't accept moral victories, bro. I don't know what you think this is. We don't accept moral victories. I was just checking if he had that. Get out of here. Slumped him. There we go. We actually, like, what the hell? We actually got a good stoppage here. The, like, the ref came in and everything. Here we go. One knockdown, two knockdown, four knockdown, seven knockdowns on him. For some reason, I thought I lost the first round, but I guess I won every one. Okay, Max Holloway, the dude who originally went Brian Ortega, there's like two different, like, there's things that people do, like, if you use like a four-star fighter or something, I see people, they try to match it, but in other times, I think you pick them, and then like, they try to get like a free win or something, they try to get a free win, so they pick someone really good, but he originally went Ortega, I like this better though. Man, I was just trying to go for a leg kick, bro. I thought that was an uppercut. I thought I was done. I'm going to test that chin, Max. I'm going to test that chin. Ooh. Let me watch out. Oh, damn, that's a finish. Okay, I expected a knockdown. He probably tried to throw some flying knee. I know he, that's what he had to do. He had to try to throw a flying knee because that would have been a knockdown. He tried to throw something. Good fight, bro. Respect. I think I'll leave it off as that. Still not that long a video, but I don't know. That's cool.